Major League Baseball players rake in some really huge salaries. But a few weeks ago, Jose Canseco really hit the jackpot when he signed a record-breaking five-year contract with the Oakland Athletics. Well, the Oakland Athletics got uh, their money's worth when it comes to personality and raw power. After five years in the Major Leagues, Canseco has proven himself worthy of his reputation for breaking batting records, speed limits, and women's hearts. He's the Roseanne Barr of baseball. People either hate him. Or just let that jerk have all his fun over there all he wants. Or they fawn over him with the same fervor usually reserved for a rock star. Look at him! My God! Think about it! He's Jose Canseco, the Cuban-born, ball-bashing, base-stealing right fielder for the Oakland A's. Short of having a candy bar named after him, he's accomplished more in his 25 years than most ball players have achieved in a lifetime, including his 1988 entry into the 40-40 club. That's when you steal 40 bases and hit 40 home runs in a single season. The exclusive club boasts Jose as its only member. But his most impressive record-breaking feat was his recent signing of the richest contract in baseball history, $23.5 million. That's $2 million more than the New York Mets paid their entire team last year. I'm happy, and hopefully the A's are happy, and everybody's going to be happy. But not everyone is happy with the man they call the baby bull. Have you heard specifics for the deal? Or? Nope. Okay, apparently it was 23 and a half. You do not care about that? Or? You do not care. He's had a long-running feud with the San Francisco Giants' Will Clark, and his off-the-diamond antics have alienated him from a large number of baseball fans. An unregistered gun possession charge, numerous speeding violations, and an occasional cold shoulder toward the fans has made Canseco a public relations nightmare. They say, oh, Jose, he's, uh, he's arrogant. He didn't want to give an interview. Uh, he has no time for the public. But... Uh, I had some trouble with that in 86 when, when I was a rookie, but it seems like lately the reporters understand that I try to give as much time to them as possible. But whether you love him or hate him, you can't deny the awesome talent packed into that six foot three inch frame. And for many fans, it's only the frame that counts. Jose took a little heat about a year ago when he opened his own 900 number for a buck a minute. People could call up and hear him on tape uh, rambling on about different things. Now, what the critics didn't realize was that Jose donated the profits from the line to support youth baseball. We'll be back right after this with another side of baseball. It seemed like a different era. Diners were popular. Rock and roll was in.